What's up, Tim KBA, One Tech Traveller. Here in Scotland, we are halfway between Edinburgh and Glasgow, roughly near Loch Lomond, and uh, we are doing a series of unboxings while I'm here on this workshop retreat. So sort of switching the scenery more for the mountains, the lake, and the Scottish weather conditions up in the Highlands. Now this is a follow-up update leading on from some of the comments I made in the video I did at the beginning of this year when I shared a lot of the equipment I invested in to help build my live stream and podcasting setup. If you wanna check that video out, uh, make sure you do and you'll see a lot of the great stuff of how we've sort of evolved and built that into some of the videos that we've been doing. The Elgato Boom Arm High Profile that I have here to unbox for you today uh, wasn't with the stuff previously because it was on back order. Thankfully it has arrived and I thought I'd unbox it while I'm up here in Scotland. So Elgato's packages are pretty standard affair. You can see we get a few details in terms of the detachable uh, riser, the 360 rotable bore head, um, a few of the key features, including like the integrated cable management. First up, as is customary, found this red scissor that I'm gonna slice through the tape with. Cool. And uh, I've been really excited and waiting to unbox this because I can't wait to use it within my workflow. Three, two, one. There we go. Look at that. I just let that slide right off very smooth. Similar to the clamp of the, the master mounts that I got in the original podcasting equipment video, uh, which even though the clamp is the same, the mounting points are different, so you can't interchange this is specific to the boom arm. One thing I like, this is a very wide base, so it gives extra stability compared to other boom arms, uh, which maybe doesn't have as wide of a clamp. So if it starts to get a bit top heavy or you're extending it very wide, then it can um, maybe unsettle it over a period of time. But this is very, durable and a nice wide surface. You simply just rotate it and this has a very high degree of thickness that you can work with in terms of the table. So you can see we extended it down. You can have it very slim um, all the way to the very thin ones. Although yeah, make sure that the table itself is good quality. Um, but this can extend all the way to the bottom so we can connect it on very thick surfaces, environments, it might not even be a table, just a ledge. Um, you can get secure footing on this, which is great. One thing I like in Elgato's mounts, uh, on the master mount and also here on the boom arm, if you're in a tight space and it's very awkward to try and rotate this to help clamp it down, what you can do is actually press this button and it will sort of loosen the, the piece that I'm holding from the screw. You can rotate it, let go, and then it will allow you to screw. So. Um, if you can't do the full rotation, you can just press it and then work it within the degree that you can screw it. So very nice touch there. This is actually a nice add-on from Elgato. It is a counterweight, which means if you are using a lighter setup, very light, even for say normal suspension boom arms that is not actually able to weigh it down and provide the necessary weight to sort of balance it. Um, they would actually just sort of rise back up and not hold the position that you want to move it around. This counterweight fixes that and is integrated into the design. So while you can add external things to weigh down, it's very unsightly and not clean. Um, this is a nice polish. This is just basically metal and a weight. So if you are using say Elgato's Wave 3 compared to my heavier Shure SM7B or anything that's very light, you can just put this towards the edge at the end of the boom arm when I'll show you shortly. Um, and then that's gonna help balance it out so it's not just gonna automatically um, rise back up. So that is a little counterweight. Doesn't weigh much, a couple hundred grams. This is that 15 centimeter riser uh, and extended pole basically that would sit on the clamp. So you can choose to use it or not. Um, but this is great if you want it to come over your monitor. That just adds additional height that the boom arm would feed into. So that flexibility is really handy and something you don't get in the low profile Elgato boom arm because that comes from down up. So something to bear in mind. And I guess while I'm here, I might as well show you what it looks like in action. So I'm going to clamp this. With the master mount, very easy to set up. It's exactly the same here. Uh, this table's 
decently thick um, and heavy duty, so I'm not gonna have any problem. We can also just slot in the riser, so we put that in. And uh, they have some soft pieces on the top, so the metals themselves aren't going to rub um, and scratch each other, uh, which is, again, a very nice touch. But I like the 15 centimeter riser. And then finally, we just put that to one side. This is the boom arm. Um, looks really slick. And again, you, there are some others like the Rode PSA-1, the Blue Compass, um, even the one from like newer that are much cheaper. This one is very reasonable. It sits a bit more towards the higher end, but you could probably find it a little bit cheaper than the Blue Compass and the Rode PSA-1. And while I know sure have added this extended clip um, that you attach onto the PSA-1 to give it clearance for the cabling because it would get in the way, this will just remove that sort of uh, obstruction. So by design, it is very sure SM7B friendly from what I've seen. And of course, we'll do that in a moment. Um, but this is cool because it's actually very thin. So it can it can lay down on the table like you see here. It's not rounded at like a, a tube or cylinder where it could roll off. So aesthetically, I like the design. A flat bed means that I can sort of pack this and lay it flat. And then we also have the connector piece that will go here. And then we have the top part of the boom arm, which is where we're going to connect our microphone. And it has its own ball head. This is, looks to be the same, if not very similar to the master mount, which means this is actually made of plastic, the ball head itself, um, whether you can interchange it or not, but I'm sure this will do the job. We do have some metal pieces, but the, the actual ball head where you loosen it is, a plastic so that was kind of my gripe previously I would have liked them to see just a more durable ball head and um, but I guess it was also to reduce the weight um, especially if you are using heavier rigs but um, this top piece actually feels like it's metal so it's just the the ball head sort of clamping piece um, but that gives you 360 movement what I also like on this and if I just slide this out Cool. We have an integrated channel management. So it's very different on the low profile Elgato boom arm. It kind of had this light sort of sticky um, cable loop that you can put on top of the boom arm and the cable will be underneath. But I did see if you had it folded or the cables um, were sort of bent, then it will actually lift that up. Um, I like the integrated cable management loop here because it actually feeds and is much more stronger. You can see it slides in place and it's not something that just lays on top and can easily ride up. So that was also another plus why I like the high profile uh, boom arm. If I slide that, there we go. All right, so I've slid that in place. And then there we go. We get some very wide extension too. which is cool. So extends very far, I would say is one and a half meters uh, when it's fully extended this way. So if I turn it around, I would basically have the cable loop here and then it will provide a different degrees of freedom. So this is down and I'll need to double check whether this needs to be flipped on the other side. But in terms of movement, it works great. Now, if I take out the riser, and you can see it just really holds very well. So one thing I wanna do, if I take out the riser, I can have it lent back. This is probably as far as it goes because it's connected here. So you probably can't do it all the way like that. You kind of had the the, the cable coming in. So I would play around with the setup in terms of how I want it to come across to my mouth. But for purposes, you can see how it can extend, how it sort of holds its position, whether it's far. So I, for example, I could put it to the other side, have the, the XLR wave there with my microphone and then talk through. So I'm gonna get my Shure SM7B and actually get it all set up so that we can see what it looks like and when everything's all together and the experience. But quality wise, it feels really great. And what you'll also find, we have some 
thread adapters. And just need to make sure I find the right one. Yeah, it looks like this. So this is the thread adapter to connect to the, the right one on the Shure SM7B. Make sure you insert that first. There we go. Whew. A little learning there. It's a bit awkward like this, so you probably want to set up before you actually insert it into the clamp. But once you're kind of happy with that, we can use this to secure it. Cool. And then I'm probably, how would I want to do it? Like this. And I'm going to set my clamp here. Like that. Cool. XLR cable. And we slide this one back. Thread the part that comes down the boom arm clamp. This is what it looks like, the Elgato Boom Arm High Profile. I think it looks amazing. Um, I've just done it opposite side of the table, reaching in just to give you an idea of sort of how it arcs and uh, the, the, ch the channel for the cable management. I can also make this low profile and this will get some serious reach. So for example, I was a bit more closer. If I wanna lean back, I would literally just do this have it like that and then face it perfectly so it's coming at me and then I can just talk and I think it's amazing you know you can move it wherever it's not going to really disturb the sound that's coming through because of the shock absorber on the SM7B um, but this is using the 15 centimeter riser which again for me was really important because it just gives me extra lift and flexibility especially if I'm on a lower table. So if it's a coffee table, for example, I can still use this on there and get the extra lift if I need to. And the amount of reach and compression from the high profile um, mic arm just makes it much more versatile because I want to use it for podcasting, but also for live streaming uh, if I'm in between the monitors um, or I want it to come from the side. So you've got a lot of flexibility, something that I think is going to be amazing to travel with. The, the chamber for the cable, it's just very hidden away and tucked in and you can see it plays very nicely with the SM7B and you know if I decide to move it down here, it will stay. There's no sort of uh, kickback or um, movement of the arm once I've set it in its place. For my podcasting, I, I already really dig this setup. So if I push it away to the side, I would love to definitely have another boom arm, another short SM7B and really get the clarity on both sides of for us. This is the Elgato boom arm high profile. What do I think of it? Uh, I really like it. Again, this is my first boom arm. It's very easy to set up everything. You don't need any screws. Um, you get everything that you need. I was sweating a little bit when it came to the thread adapter trying to connect my short SM7B, but they do include two thread adapter styles, which is perfect. So um, yeah, if you have the short SM7B, just make sure you use the thread adapter, but it's just very clean, um, very silent. There's no cracks or hiss, uh, which you'd expect. Uh, so over the lifetime of it, I'll see how it works as I imagine I'm going to travel a lot with this. I'm going to be moving it around um, and more aggressive compared to say a live streaming setup. Um, but this already feels very comfortable. Uh, when you move it, there's a little bit of a, a jiggle as, I, as you can imagine. Um, and again, I'll have a look at the full guide with securing it down or making sure that I've got everything set. But if you're not touching it after it's in place, it's perfectly fine and I can get really close like this. And again, the, the actual, I was actually surprised how far this can extend. And yeah, this kind of starts to look more like a low profile. Um, but if you are looking for something a bit more versatile with the height and situations that you might need to set up a boom arm, the high profile is probably more worthwhile than a low profile. So that was kind of my thinking and approach. And I could definitely say I made the right choice with the high profile and it's worth the wait. So it took like three weeks, but I'm sure they might have a bit more inventory. 
Thanks a lot, Team KBA. Uh, what do you think of the Elgato Mike Boomam high profile? Do you like it? Um, hopefully you were able to see the setup, the ease of use, and just how I've actually integrated it with all of my equipment. Um, in terms of my laptop, I do have the Elgato Cam Link, the Elgato Wave XLR that my uh, short SM7B feeds into for a preamp and the gain. And um, you do have other options, but you can see how Elgato really set up this complete system for your entire setup and what you need to work with. I like the, the ease of the workflow and how everything gels together. For all of the equipment that we've talked about and of course the Boom Arm High Profile here, I'll also include the Low Profile if you may be more interested in what that looks like. Uh, you'll find all the links down below. And if you think any of the equipment here are right for you, uh, then you can purchase it through the links down below, which helps to support my channel. Keep putting more awesome videos uh, like this one for you guys. Thanks a lot, Team KBA. I'll see you in the next video and I cannot wait to add this into my setup going forward. But until then, keep being awesome. Peace.